bunnies we're gonna call this series is this your story so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pull some cards at random and we're gonna pick up on someone's energy story so basically I'm going to tap into someone's love story now I have a lot of subscribers and chances are if you're subscribed to me um, I'm going to pick up your story sometime or another um, you know because this when when we interact with each other especially if you comment or if you like videos it creates an energy blueprint which in turn um, I can pick up on so because that's my specialty I'm an energy reader so Chances are, if you're a subscriber of mine and you've interacted with me in some way, shape, or form, I will be able to pick up on your story. So that is what I'm going to attempt to do. I'm going to do different stories. Um, I'm going to try to do one story once a week and pick up on your story. So if it's your story, just claim it in the comment section and say, that's my story. And, you know, you can always, if you want to, you know, contact me and we can elaborate more on your story by booking a reading with me. All right, so let's just jump right in. All right, I'm going to start out with the Romance Angels deck, okay? All right, we're going to pick up somebody's story. Whose story are we going to pick up on today? Sorry for background noise, my littles are in my ankle. Hold on one second. Okay, so we're back. I'm going to pull some cards from the Romance Angels and see how the storyline is going to unfold. Finances and career. So whoever storyline I'm picking up on, there's something going on with your finances and career that is interfering in your love life. Now, I don't know. It feels like it could be interfering in a negative way. But they're saying that this person, whoever... It, I'm so sorry. There's a lot of background noise. One second. Okay. Um, whoever this person is that you're dealing with right now, though, Spirit is saying that this person is definitely worth waiting for. Right now, everything is unfolding how it's supposed to. Divine timing is at work in your love life. That's what it says. And so everything that is happening right now, including everything that's going on with your finances, is meant to happen. You have to trust the process. Things are going to unfold how they're supposed to. The last card we have is express your love. So go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So spirit is saying to you, it was worth waiting for and for good reason. You can go ahead and express your feelings. Now, I'm not sure if you or your person is going to express feelings. But since this card says go ahead and make the romantic gesture, I'm willing to guess that you have thought about this person for a long time and the only thing that has been holding you back is your finances maybe you think that this person is not going to be with you if you don't make you know a ton of money maybe you're thinking that you know you don't have the finances to take care of this person and what I'm willing to bet is that this person doesn't even need you to take care of them this is just to me, this just feels like unlimited belief that is popping up for you, okay? And honestly, right now, the energy that I'm tapped into, this feels like this reading is definitely probably for a divine masculine. So if you've been wanting to make that move on the divine feminine, it's time to make your move. Don't let your money situation hold you back. All right, that's the energy already that I'm picking up for in this reading. All right, so we're going to go ahead and draw some cards from the Bodhi Tarot for you. It was just 444 on my camera. All right, so let's go ahead and keep shuffling. All right, 
So Spirit is saying it takes courage to get out of your comfort zone. See, do not let those limiting belief systems or fears hold you back. This divine feminine is ready to hear what you have to say. It takes courage to get out of your comfort zone, but doing so will lead you to opportunities that you've always dreamed about. Now, just because the energy feels masculine, you might, um, you might relate more to the masculine side of yourself or more to the feminine side. It has nothing to do with gender, okay? I just want to put that out there. Okay, let's get two more cards, please, Spirit. A soulmate connection is in or is entering your life at this time. This relationship is divinely guided. So this is a second card that has came out that has said that this relationship is divinely guided. So it's time for you to realize that this relationship is divinely guided. Um, everything, like I said, has been constructed and led to you from spirit. Okay, everything that has happened up until this point. Okay, you guys were meant to meet. So the strong magnetic pull that you feel to this person is because you're meant to feel this. It's the catalyst which is going to shift you out of your limiting belief systems. If you can put aside your beliefs that money makes the man or money makes the person, then you can go ahead and claim your destiny with your soulmate. One more card, please. You cannot pour from an empty cup. Make sure to fill your own before filling others. So there's a little bit of people-pleasing energy. Maybe in the past, you've not done enough self-care. And this definitely feels like this read is definitely for a masculine energy. Because masculines sometimes forget to do self-care. They're busy working. They're busy doing this and that. And maybe they just forget and it slips their mind. So Spirit is saying, it's time to remember that you matter too. To take care of yourself. Do whatever it is you know, that is going to be self-care for you, whether that's um, going outside for a nature walk. Maybe it's just sitting down and playing video games and eating, you know, chips for a little while. Whatever it is that you do that makes you feel calm and centered, okay? Maybe it's just, you know, watching a movie with your, your friends, you know, whatever it is that brings you back to you and to your present body, okay? All right. So let's pull some cards from the tarot and see whose story we're tapping into. All right. So let's see what Spirit is going to say about this connection. <laughs> One second. Okay. Sorry, there was a lot of background noise. My kids are running wild and free today, let me tell you. All right. Okay, sorry about that. A lot, a lot of background noise. I have to remind them that mommy is working. All right. So let's see whose story we're picking up on. What do we got for them spirits? All right. Let me tell you, it is so hard to be a single mom and work when your children are running wild and free. <laughs> well, they're big brothers out there, but... All right, what do we got? First card for the storyline, please. So you've been doing a lot of spying on your divine feminine counterparts. I feel like you've been doing lots and lots of time studying her social media, um, trying to figure out what it is that makes her tick. And this is a good thing. This will definitely come in handy. I feel also that your divine feminine is a very free spirit. Whoa. So I feel like once you make up your mind what it is that you want to do, the energy is going to move very, very quickly. Spirit is saying right now, you need to make a choice of, about whether or not you're going to sit into this fear and these limiting belief systems or whether you're going to take the plunge and go for it. 
because spirit is saying if you decide to face those fears and take the plunge so to speak things will move very quickly for both of you once you make up your mind to go towards this divine feminine and by divine feminine i'm saying you know the feminine energy Again, I apologize for any background noise. I'm seeing also that your divine feminine is in a very vulnerable spot right now. She has just gotten out of something that was very painful for her. So this is the perfect time to come in and make your move, so to speak. She's going through a period right now where she's had to let go of something that really meant a lot to her, whether that was a job, whether that was, you know, um, a vision of having her, um, um, a, a place to live, a home, um, a, a new relationship, or I mean a past relationship, um, a friendship. I'm not quite sure and it's going to be different for everyone, but she has definitely got rid of something and she's feeling very vulnerable and in need of some comfort and counsel. So it's the perfect time for you to make your move. Yes, see with the three of swords coming up, it literally has shown me that she's experiencing a lot of heartbreak right now and she could definitely use your shoulder and your comfort and your um, advice. She's, she's actually welcoming, um, all types of comfort and advice right now because she feels really, really alone. So I feel like if you make your move towards this divine feminine, that either you or her is, it, it's going to move very quickly first off with the eight of wands and the 10 of wands. This shows me very quick forward movement. Soon after you make your move, then there's going to be talk of moving in together, going on a trip together or doing something together. And people are not gonna understand when you guys start moving very quickly, they're gonna be like, whoa, what are you guys doing? You guys just met each other, blah, blah, blah. But in all actuality, you haven't just met each other. Your souls have known each other for a very, very long time. And so this connection is going to feel very home-like and very comfortable. And for that reason, it's going to move very, very quickly. I mean, you'll you'll go from, like if you are, are and, and to me, hold on one second. Okay, back to what I was saying. So if you guys um, connect, things are going to move very quickly. I feel like you already know who this Divine Feminine is. and You guys probably um, are connected in some shape, form, or fashion. You guys might be friends or maybe um, you guys are coworkers. I'm not sure how that works, but you guys definitely have already come into contact. So it's not going to be, a, you know, a surprise when you connect with this divine feminine energy and let her know how you feel because she already probably knows. But I see you guys moving in together rather quickly or going on a trip together. If you decide to come forward, that is. Okay, so let's get two more cards and wrap up this reading because we're going to keep it short. All right, Seven of Cups. So this is showing me, yes, that you've been playing out your options maybe over and over and over again. And maybe you're thinking that your Divine Feminine is doing the same. Maybe you think that she's thinking, oh, that she has other options. And both of you guys for a long time have been playing with options in the, in the game of love. But... I definitely see that for you and for her, there's no other option. And I'm going to pull two more cards just to see if I can verify that energy that I'm feeling right now. Can we get two more cards, Spirit? Yes. See, both of you have been doing a lot of clearing and letting go of the past. 
um, to make room for this new connection. I see that there's going to be communication very soon. So either you or her are going to reach out very soon. Whoops. So after a period of rest and relaxation and a lot of um, self introspection, you guys have both discovered what it is that you want. And that's each other. What is going to be the outcome? Can we get two more cards for the outcome? If this Divine Masculine goes towards this Divine Feminine, what will be the outcome? Two cards for the outcome, please, for this storyline. And then we're going to be done, Spirit. <laughs> See, the King of Wands shows me that she's waiting for you to make your move. And... She, as well, is very strong and very, I was going to say hard-headed, but yes, that's, I mean, it sounds, it sounds negative, but Spirit is saying that's the energy surrounding this feminine energy. So, um, she's coming across as like a fire sign energy, so Leo, um, Sagittarius, Aries. And she needs a divine counterpart that is just as fiery and passionate as she is. And so she's waiting very patiently for you to make your move. King of Wands is about taking that initiative, taking life by the balls, so to speak, taking the bull by the horns, making your move, showing that you're not afraid. What is the last card for the final outcome for this connection if the Divine Masculine decides to go towards the feminine energy? Okay. Oh, look at that. I pulled two cards instead of one. I just felt very guided to. And there you have it. There's the Six of Cups and the Two of Cups. <laughs> Here is your happily ever after. The deep soulmate connection. This is a soulmate card. So... There is going to be a feeling of comfort. Um, your person is extremely loyal, just like this dog in the picture. Um, when you're around this person, you get this feeling of almost like you feel like um, you're a kid again. There's this feeling of feeling like... How can I describe this? There's a feeling like when you're at your childhood home and you're running around in the backyard and the grass is on your feet and you're riding your bike and you're with all your friends. There's this feeling of nostalgia and um, wonder. And this divine feminine brings those feelings out in you. It's really hard to deny this connection because you feel so comfortable and childlike when you're with this person. And look, there's your two of cups. This will be the outcome if you decide to come forward and speak to this divine feminine. This is a love connection made in heaven. Look at all that joy and bliss. It is a deep, deep connection of love. All right, so I really hope that you enjoyed this reading. If this is your story, comment down below. This is my story. I love you, bunnies.